I look upon uh, Danzante Bay and, and Loretto much like uh, what my father did with Lawrence Rockefeller at Mauna Kea. Uh, I went there as a kid uh, with my dad when it was just pioneering. Owen allowed me the same opportunity here to work uh, within this landscape. And, and this is uh, like the most diverse landscape I think of any golf course in the world. I mean, we have, we have the desert holes, we have the mountain holes, we have the valley holes, we have the, the uh, dunes holes, and then we have uh, like one of the ultimate holes in golf, the 17th hole, which I call the Sea of Cortez hole, uh, unlike any golf hole in Mexico. I tell you what, I, I got lucky because uh, Ron Witten at one time said I was the architect that got the best sites um, and, and it actually helps to get the best sites. You become a much better architect when you get a great site like this. We sort of found the golf course. We didn't have to create it, we, we had to build it, but we, we worked within the framework of the environment, uh, in the environment and with the uh, framework of the terrain. Um, we started in uh, basically 2006 uh, purchasing this bay. Um, we, um, I became interested in Loretto as a destination. I think I thought that the beauty of this area with the, the majestic Gigante Mountains that flow into the, the turquoise bluish water of the Sea of Cortez and then you sprinkle in the islands and it was very unique. We invited a lot of media from, uh, from Mexico, uh, international media. We have a lot of media from uh, Canada, from the United States, uh, California, Arizona, across the country. They're here to take a quick look at our golf course that's in progress right now. And uh, from what I see and what they're, they're telling me, uh, they're playing right now and they can't wait to finish off and then tell me what, what they think. But everybody's excited. The course looks great uh, and everybody's enjoying themselves. Unless you're here and you see it, because that's what you have to do. You have to be here, you have to see it to believe it. Because if you don't, words cannot tell you the story. Well, you know what, I played a lot of golf courses. You know, I've gotten the privilege and the pleasure of playing in a ton of them. Uh, and so far, this is one of my favorites. And I just um, am excited to be a part of this and, and to, to be in the grand opening and, and get an opportunity to play again. I was here nine months ago when it wasn't completely finished and I got a chance to just play. But now the grounds are spectacular and the greens and the, the fairways are just about as beautiful as you can get. You know, so this is in my top five in all the courses that I played and I played everywhere. We felt that if we built a quality pro property here that could compete internationally, that other people would come and enjoy it as well. And after six years of operations, it, it has come true. To me, it, it gives you a different feel of uh, desert golf, and then you have ocean, you know, you have the water, you know, so you have that view. And there's not a lot of golf courses like that, you know, you either get one or the other, you know, you see a lot of views on golf courses or you see just the desert on golf courses. This gives you a combination of both. And this is a, like the most diverse landscape, I think, of any golf course in the world. I mean, we have, we have the desert holes, we have the mountain holes, we have the valley holes. We are really, really excited that this week uh, we had a, a lot of press and celebrities came to do this, uh, we call it a sneak preview for our 18 golf course. I mean, everybody is really, really happy with the golf course and uh, Rich Jones is so amazed about this. Uh, uh, he is a, a great designer and then he has set more than 75 golf courses in the States, but this is the first one in Mexico. So we are really honored to have him here and to do this sneak preview. This next year we're projected to be 80% full. It's one of, we're, we have one of the highest rates um, um, of our company. So we've really proven this is a great destination. And this weekend we're inaugurating the pre-opening of the golf course. Yeah, we're basically having an open, uh, a golf open preview. Just to kind of show everybody a little bit of our golf course, what's going on here at Danzante Bay. You know, so I think for me that's the thing that's so appealing when you play golf courses. Just how does it make you feel? And this course uh, makes you feel uh, like you're in different places in the world. You know, you're playing the ocean course and then you're playing the desert part of the course. So it's one of those courses that's very unique in that aspect of it. What Owen Perry has done here, uh, his vision to have this golf course wind in and out of these canyons and the mountains and, and topographically, I don't think I've ever seen a site that's nicer myself. Uh, having been in the 
resort residential development business myself for 25 years. So I think um, not only is this a wonderful golf course to play, enjoyable golf course to play, but I think it's probably one of the great golf experiences in the world and it's going to continue to be so and I think that's why the occupancy is going to come here uh, more and more and I think the hotel is phenomenal. I mean uh, the reason I come here so often is first of all Owen and I have become great friends and um, I really love being a part of the Villa Group and part of this project. With the same token, uh, the hotel is phenomenal. So it's a really, really uh, special place to, to discover. And we like to say uh, Loreto and Donzante Bay is uh, the perfect place for uh, extraordinary people to be ordinary and ordinary people to be extraordinary.